we're looking at Jarvis's dashboard right now. Jarvis is a, a very ingenious product. It's, it's an AI uh, driven writing assistant and it can quite, it, and it can do quite a, quite a lot of stuff. Um, let me, let me show you, uh, some, some things that Jarvis can do. So for instance, I have a content, uh, uh, improver and I can just kind of type something in here, like, uh, let's say a content prover. I just want to provide some content to Verizon regarding their marketing. So I just put the text in here. Let's say it's going to be, uh, satirical, satirical. And I hit generate. And it pops up with, uh, some, pops up with these, uh, not using the Verizon marketing game seems like an excellent opportunity. So this is auto generated by AI. Um, it's, it's all original. It's based on, um, a scraping of like 15% of the web or something like that, a large percentage of the web. And it uses AI to kind of look at writing, I guess, from billions of different billion different websites and it pops up with this model and then you can use these models for a uh to assist you in writing it's it's fantastic for someone like me who has who has uh, uh dyslexia uh and you know you have trouble with words or you can't expand a sentence or you or you don't quite understand uh what you may be saying and this can really assist you because this can just come up with the ideas uh, so this, I can click on one of these and say, I want, I want to uh, explain to a child or I want an outline or it'll even search the internet and come up with, it'll search this database, which is about 15% of the internet and come up with the interesting things that you can use it for. So it's been quite, quite useful. However, that's not my problem. My problem is not with the application itself. My problem is with the fact that they're, they're a bit greedy. Let me show you. So if I go here at the, let's say story time, and I have these documents, it says right here, it says long form, uh, long form assistance right here. You see here? Now you think, okay, no problem, because I, I downgraded it, and it downgraded it, and it instantly cut me off from the long form assistant. It didn't say, oh, you have until you paid for a month, you have until the end of the month, like most contracts do. Most contracts run out at the end of the month and then you restore it. It just cut me off. And not only it cut me off from the application when I've already paid for a month, but it also cut me off from the content itself. So I can't download this content. And in some of these things, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, I have cryptocurrency, all this stuff I cannot get, get to. So in order to get to this, I would have to go here. Okay. And, and say, okay, I want to, I want to, um, I want to upgrade my plan. So I'd edit my plan. And then I would say pro. And it's like, okay, it starts at a hundred something dollars a month starter. So if I hit pro, what happens now? Okay, do now, it's 99 cents. So I guess it's it's prorating me, I guess. They, they kind of fix this. If I, if I go back to the starter, again, it automatically cuts me off. They may have fixed that. They don't warn you, $1.69, of course, that tomorrow it'll charge me $199 per month, so. Anyway, the other thing that's really annoys me is the fact that if you go here and say, you know, I'm a little tired of this. I don't, I only use it for to cancel it so I can cancel my account. Um, but look, canceling your account will cause you to lose all your saved content and earn credits. Fine. Earn credits. I understand that. But all your saved content 
Really? All of it? So all this stuff right here is gone. Uh, all these stuff, over a thousand, all this stuff, all this stuff is gone. It just deletes it. But again, I have to keep paying $49 a month just to keep the content there. I cannot just sort of, you know, can't, you know, cancel, have it archive and come back or, or download your content and then come back to it. You can't do any of that. You, you have to go and manually, manually walk through this, all this stuff and, and copy and paste like this. Copy, copy, pay, copy, paste. And there's a lot of content here. So that's what I wanted to uh, get across.